Hey squad, welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews, the place you come to for the magic reviews you can trust. Today I'm doing a requested magic review. We're gonna be taking a look at the DVD called Visualize by Brendan Rodriguez. Now this is a DVD that actually came out five years ago. This was requested by the user named W here on YouTube about a month ago now. Um, and this is an 80 minute DVD that costs about $30. There's seven routines that Brendan Rodriguez goes over in detail. They advertise that there's no gaffes and that there's no cards here. This is all visual close-up magic and as they say, visual is king for a reason, right? So let's take a look at the trailer. Check it out, we've got a little pen, like a magic wand. Okay, you can check it out if you want to. Um, and um, <laughs> do you know what happens? Do you know what happens when I, when I touch the heart with a pen? When I touch the heart with a pen, the heart disappears, appears here, and the pen's here. Now, you're, you're, okay, you probably missed that. <laughs> One coin comes out, and you have four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And how many do you have in your hand? One, four. two, three, four. <laughs> Ten coins. Okay, so you guys took a look at the trailer and you saw what this was about. Um, I will tell you that about 30% or so of the DVD has to do with flourishing, flourishing of pens, of coins, rings, and other things like that, which I'm really not into myself, but some of you may like that. Um, and then the rest of the DVD overall is the seven effects that he goes over. He performs about four or five of them for live audiences and then the other two he performs just in the studio. And then he goes over at the very end of the DVD, he goes over some hand exercises that you may be interested in. Difficulty wise, this ranges from really easy to extremely difficult and expert level. So even though they advertise that there's no gaffes, there are some magic props that you will need to get if you want to perform all the routines. Like in one of the routines, you need to have a reel or a pull. And in two of the other routines, you need to have the D-Light prop. And that was a prop that was put out by Rocco. 
If you're not familiar with it, you can just Google it and you can see what that is. I don't use it, so I don't do those routines. Um, my interest in this DVD was because it had to do with close-up sleight of hand, which I'm a really big fan of overall. So as always, I'm gonna tell you guys the routines I really liked a lot, go over the highlights, and then tell you what I think could have been improved on this DVD and just give you some final thoughts. So the first routine on the DVD is called the Crystal Ball Opener, and uh, this is more uh, magic with a uh, contact juggling ball. So if you guys remember, when I did the review on the At The Table lecture by Miles Thornton, I did talk a little bit about some of the contact juggling stuff that he went over. Well, here you're gonna find a lot more about it. And I think it's because uh, Brendan Rodriguez, um, he does a lot of flourishing, a lot of stuff that has to do with juggling because he started out in magic. He actually started out doing bar flaring, which is a type of bartending, where like the bartender entertains the guests and throws around the bottles and whatnot. And so he transitioned into doing magic for his customers in that way. And so this fits into that type of persona. The crystal ball opener, it's really interesting and it's, a, it's something um, that I think a lot of you may like if you wanna try to get into doing contact juggling. He goes over a bunch of isolations. He goes over about six moves in general. He, he teaches you how to do the enigma, the push through, um, the invisible thread move. There's a bunch of different things he goes over there, a vibration move, which looks pretty cool. And then he does a production of some other smaller uh, acrylic balls, which really get the audience. Um, so it's definitely something you may want to consider. It's highly visual as everything on this DVD is. I thought it was really good. I liked it a lot and I've practiced it. It's fun to practice it in front of the mirror. Um, definitely something that's going to take a lot of practice if you want to get it to look really good. So the second routine on the DVD is called Elasticized Energy and this is his rubber band uh, routine that he goes over on the DVD which is a three phase routine. The first phase is the crazy man's handcuffs so if you're not really good at performing that there's a couple of little tips he gives you. It's all stuff that's very basic overall. The second phase, he does it in the spectator's hands, which is good. And then my favorite part, which is the last phase, which is his interlace move, which I think is the best part of the routine. Uh, you may have seen his interlace move on another DVD that he put out with RSVP Magic. Uh, it was called Eye Candy Volume 2, and there he only went over that one move on that DVD. Lee Smith was also on there, and there was a bunch of other effects. I think it was Lee Smith and Gary Jones, I think. Um, but um, So this interlace move is really crazy visual because you're showing the rubber bands to your spectators. You're telling them what you're going to do. You're doing it with both hands at the same time. Um, it really is crazy visual because you're going from a position where you're just like this and you're just doing a quick motion like this and instantly you're interlacing the rubber bands on both hands on all your fingers. Now this move is gonna take a little bit of practice to be able to be able to do it without really thinking. Um, it's something that I've incorporated into my own rubber band magic because it's that visual and fast. What I really like to do after this um, for you guys that are interested if you can pick up Calvin Liu's download called uh, Synthetic. Now this I think is like $8 put out on Penguin Magic. He actually has a couple of moves that end in this exact position. So I like to go from here and actually go into like a pseudo explanation of how that was possible where I show the rubber band in between my fingers and explain to them that all I have to do is take the rubber band and just snap it and then it will link onto all my fingers again. And so if you do pick up synthetic, you will learn that and some other, there's another variation of the move he goes over, which is also uh, very useful. You can incorporate it into whatever uh, rubber band routine that you're currently doing, something that you may uh, really like to do. So uh, something worth checking out and uh, definitely, this was probably the second most used uh, routine on this DVD that I used myself. And the third routine on the DVD was called The Coins. And what this was, was this routine actually had two parts to it. One part was just flourishing, where he throws some coins from around his back, around his back and catches them. And then the other part 
um, was where he puts five coins in the spectator's hands and he asks them to close their hand when he puts the last coin in there. He tells them he's gonna try to take one out really quickly. And exactly as you say, it, you put the coins in their hand, they close as fast as they can, but you still manage to get a coin out. I will tell you guys that this is probably the easiest routine on the DVD and definitely was a personal favorite of mine. I've used it a lot. Um, the move is totally invisible to the spectator and it's very easy to perform. It's not difficult at all. Now on the DVD, he actually repeats it a bunch of times for the same person. Now when I've done it for people, uh, I've never repeated it more than once just because I'm worried that they're actually gonna catch me. Although I've never been caught doing it and it really just flies over people's heads. Definitely a big highlight of the DVD. I think that you'd really like that a lot and it takes no practice to learn. You pick this up immediately. This is the one thing on this DVD that's really easy to learn. Um, the next routine after that is called the pen and heart. And what that is, is that's a five phase transposition effect between a sponge ball, or in this case, a sponge heart and a pen. And as you saw uh, on, the, on the trailer, it's crazy visual. Um, for that routine, if you want to do it exactly as he does it, you do need to have a reel. Um, if not, you can just turn it into a two or three phase routine where you can leave out the middle phase if you want to, where you don't have to use it with a reel at all if you don't want to. Um, and that's how I've mostly done it because I can't be bothered with having to hook up a reel and, and keep carry that around with me. But for those of you that like to do any kind of magic with a Bic pen or even with sponge balls, I think that you definitely would uh, be interested in this routine. For those people that are interested, a couple of years ago, he actually gave a talk at the Magic Circle uh, where he did the exact same routine, but instead of using a pen and a, and a sponge ball, he used a pen and a coin, but it was the exact same routine. Um, and he put that out there with the Magic Circle for those people that are interested in that. Um, and those are the four main routines that I really liked on the DVD. Um, he does do a routine that has to do with bartending where he calls it the shaker and what he does is he makes a shaker float and that's actually um, a standalone alone item that you have to buy. That's a magic prop that you would have to buy if you want to do that uh, floating thing. And then he also shows you um, how you can make liquid, uh, you can pour liquid into the shaker, make it seem like the shaker is empty and then afterwards magically have the liquid come back into the shaker. I would never perform that because I don't do any kind of bartending myself. The last two routines on the DVD have to do uh, with the D-Light prop, like I mentioned to you. Again, I wouldn't perform either of those routines because I don't use the D-Light. You may like it um, and just because it does look really pretty neat. Uh, one of those routines is called 3D printing and it just looks like you're literally printing something um, out, of, out of this thin air. So it's very visual overall. Um, again, I wouldn't perform it myself. And then the last routine is called red light pen, which it looks like you're throwing a red light and a pen is appearing where the red light was. Um, again, that does rely on the D light prop. So overall, I would tell you guys that I would give this DVD a four out of five stars. In terms of negative aspects, I will tell you guys that I really wasn't a big fan of the flourishing aspect that you can find on here. And I thought that um, the other thing that could have really been uh, improved here is uh, the patter on uh, for the effects because there really isn't much patter when he presents this. He's just like, look at this, watch this, I'm going to do this. I mean, but then again, since all the effects are highly visual, um, it doesn't look like you're really missing much. But I think that that could have probably been improved overall. As always, if you guys have any questions about this or any other products, please let me know. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these magic reviews. And if there's any magic product that you want me to review, please just leave me a comment below and I'll try to get to it in a timely manner. I am working on all of the reviews that you guys have asked me to review. So I'll see you guys on the next review.